think of the new friends is is slightly more important only because I think with different seasons of your life, there may come points where old relationships, again, no longer fit with mm. your lifestyle or no longer fit with your mindset. Or just maybe you're trying to leave some habits or lifestyles behind, and that may include some people as well. Mm. Um, so I think that it is important with each season of life that you are also able to expand your network with where you're at right now. Over 50% of Black Americans are unmarried, and only 2% of Black families in America have a net worth over $1 million. We are on our journey to not only join that 2%, but grow that 2%. Facts. I'm Devon Travell, creator of Black Wall Street, the board game, with my beautiful co-host. I'm Sinclair, a.k.a. The Health Nerd. You can go to our website at theM4show.com our Instagram at the M4 show and our YouTube channel at melanated married millionaires in the main. And welcome to the M4 show. I don't, I, uh, you're not going to like how I answer this, but I don't think it has anything to do with old versus new. I think it is important to have relationships that are, that, that are, that give value. Mm -hmm. So, however, that whether that's an old relationship or a new relationship, I just think it's important to evaluate your relationships and make sure that they are, they're still serving you. If they get into a point where a, a relationship is no longer serving you and not just that and not not necessarily in a like you're getting something from that person, but serving you emotionally, serving you, um, you know, filling your cup if you will like if yeah. you if, if, if you feel like you're so drained you know from from a certain relationship then that may be one you should let go of i don't know that it's matters whether it's a, a new or, or or old friendship mm -hmm. but i think it's important to always evaluate um but i do think that it is important to okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna answer it here mm -hmm. i think the new friends is is slightly more important only because i think with different seasons of your life there may come points where old relationships again no longer fit with mm. your lifestyle or no longer fit with your mindset or just maybe you're trying to leave some habits or lifestyles behind and that may include some people as well mm. um so i think that it is important with each season of life that you are also able to expand your network with where you're at right now because otherwise, I think it's going to be hard to evolve if you always have the same circle. Mm -hmm. Unless everybody's evolving together, which is amazing. But I don't think that's the reality in most friendship circles, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, you know, I'm an optimist. Mm -hmm. You know, I am Mr. Romantic. And I think I'm leaning towards sustaining old friendships. And as best as you can, being able to evolve with those friends. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because kind of like like the marriage, right? I think we have a stronger marriage and a stronger friendship because we have literally 11 years building building on, mm -hmm. right? And I think when you get to a certain level uh, with your business, with your friends, it's helpful for that friend to have known you for 10, 20, 15 years so they can tell you when you're tripping. Like, mm -hmm. mm, Sinclair, nah, you're not, you're, you, you've you lost your ways. Because mm -hmm. I remember Sinclair back in 2000. You acting brand new. Right, you acting brand new now. And I think sometimes making new friends, while that it can bring an outside perspective, it can bring in additional value, they don't have the context that your old friends have. That's true. And they might not know if you're acting brand new or not because you are brand new to them. Mm -hmm. So what, whatever first impression you gave to them, that's who they think you are. Right. But that could have been a facade. You could have been uncomfortable that day. You could have been depressed that day, but they're meeting you there. So they think this is your baseline. They don't know to check in. Oh, are you feeling okay? Right. Because the first time they met you, you were here. They just assume that's how you are. Exactly. Okay. All right. We're going to get back to the episode in a second. But breathe. If you've ever had a brilliant idea, I'm pretty sure everybody just took a breath right there, right? Because we all have amazing ideas. But I got a question for you. What's stopping you from taking that idea and actually making it into a business, actually executing on your brilliance? My name is Devon Travell, and in 2018, I was able to create 
market and sell my own product while still working a nine to five. And through the years, I've taken the lessons we've learned, the expensive webinars that I've gone to and the dozens of business books that I've read. And I've discovered seven simple steps to launch your business. If you're ready to take your business idea to the next level and make it real and start making profit from your passion, head to www.launchitcommunity.com and grab yourself the book. We've been able to make it very simple, affordable, and easier than ever to start that business while still working your nine to five. And we take entrepreneurs every single Friday and we, we talk to them. We teach them about how to use social media. We teach them about how to set up their Instagram account, how to use Shopify, how to use Printful and other tools that can help you take your business to the next level, but not take tons of time away from your nine to five and your busy life that you already have. So if you're ready to take that idea to the next level, make sure you head to www.launchitcommunity.com, get yourself a book and join our free accountability calls. Now, let's get back to the episode. Um, so yeah, speaking of which, I talked to a friend today and I can just tell that that person was down. Yeah. Oh, and it's just like, I'm a very empathetic person. So it's like, when you're down, it's like, dang. And I, I feel like there's nothing to do for this person either. So it's like, oh, I feel you. Mm -hmm. But again, that was the first time I'd ever engaged that person. It has been like, oh, they're just a chill, laid back individual, gotcha. right? Um, but yeah, I'm leaning towards sustaining old friends or sustaining, oh, I'm trying to come up with a different word than old, mm -hmm. sustaining lasting relationships, sustaining cemented friends sustaining friends with like equity you're, 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 i guess you're talking about like your core yeah your like squad your core group yeah i think your it's squad because like it's going to be so different with our kids playing with markel's kids ryan kids javon's mm. kids Odin's kids like our kids playing with the kids the people that we grew up with like that's one of the visions one of the dreams i look forward to mm -hmm. making new friends at the park and all that stuff that's cool but like really having our kids rock with the people that we rock with, rock with the people that we had shenanigans with. Like, that's just a different type of vibe to me. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the M4 show and our mission to increase the wealth of Black families. If you received any value from this episode, any value at all, any, 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 do us a favor and give us a like and subscribe on YouTube and Apple, Spotify, all anything them. all of them all, them. all of them wherever you're listening go ahead and like and subscribe and after you like and subscribe make sure you send this episode to at least one family that you really want to see win we'll catch y'all next time peace